Good evening and thank you for joining me this evening. I am Kim Spear and I am a deacon with St. Edward's Episcopal Church in Mount Dora. And tonight we will be praying together in order for Compline, which is found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 127. The Lord grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all of our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us say together Psalm 31, found in the middle of page 129. In you, O oh Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace and let your blessings be upon us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. 
take a moment to offer up our prayers of thanksgiving and intercessions. If you like, you may add a prayer request in the comment section. Loving Lord, we thank you for another day. We thank you for the rain that came today as you water your creation. And we thank you, Lord, of the sun that continues to shine, that it's evidence that you are in control over all things, that your light shines in these challenging times, Lord. You are sovereign. Father, we give thanks to you for the gift of each other, for the gift of other believers as we come together, even through this technology, Lord. We thank you for that, that we can connect. Lord, we pray for this time because this is a challenging time for so many. Father, we ask for your healing for those who are sick, you are the great physician, O oh Lord God. May your light touch them. All those who you know, Father, need your touch, your healing, your love. We trust you to, to make yourself known in those situations and to make yourself known to the people that are helping these patients, Lord God, to the nurses, the doctors, uh, the chaplains in the hospital. All the people, Lord Jesus, that are in this, on the front lines, we just pray for your supernatural power and presence over them. Give them a peace that only you can give, Lord. It's not peace as the world knows it. It's peace that can be found in the midst of really challenging times and turmoil. But your peace overrides all of that. We thank you for that, Father. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, that during this time we are coming to you um, to see what our role is in this, to help and meet the needs of your people. Stir in us by the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, what that is. Create in us uh, the ability to boldly pray, bold prayers, courageous prayers, Father, knowing that you are wanting to hear them. And you will respond by the power of your spirit through us to act. Help us to be responsive to the needs of others, Lord. To see them through your holy eyes. Help us to love as you do. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ and to sleep we may rest in peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, you have now set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty, merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening. I pray that you have a blessed, peaceful evening. Good night.